What's up, YouTube family? So, don't wait for opportunity, create it. That's my quote for this video. So, in today's video, I want to talk about a couple golden nuggets, a couple tips for anyone selling on Amazon FBA, and just a couple pointers that I use for my own product that I launched about three and a half, four days ago. And using this tactic, it got me extra sales because what you want to do is when you launch your first product or you launch any of your products, you want to trick Amazon's algorithm into believing that you have the most sales, you're getting the most traction. So there's different strategies you can go about doing this. And something I did, and I want you guys to implement into what you guys are doing for your products, but I got in touch with influencers. And now when I mean get in touch with influencers, I did use a Facebook ad. I did create a Facebook group around the niche that I'm in. So let's just... For the, an example in this video, let's use camping hammocks as the example. So if I'm going to launch a camping hammock in a month from now, I'm going to create a Facebook group around that niche and build a following on that Facebook group. And when I launch, I'm going to promote that within the group. And I'm also going to promote it using Facebook. But don't stop at Facebook. Spread out. Something also I did is I got in touch with a lot of, for example, I'm going to show you right now. Go to top 10 adventure blogs, look for these blogs and go down and look through them. And some of these blogs, you can email them and ask them if they can do a review on your camping hammock and do a review on the product you're trying to sell. So a week prior to launching uh, my product, besides Facebook and besides Twitter ads and besides Instagram influencers and Instagram ads, I got in touch with bloggers and people on tumblr people in outside of the niche people outside of the big social platform so i like tumblr i got in touch with a linkedin influencer and i got in touch with these different influencers and i networked with them and uh i paid them of course i, I paid them a small fee and we worked it out a couple blog sites who were in the niche of my camping hammock they wrote a post on my camping hammock and which led back to my amazon listing so now keep in mind whenever you're using jump send so now this is what i like about jump send uh, a lot of people just use jump send for their email follow-up what i did with uh jump send is i curated a, a promotion with my product and i put i believe it was 20 percent or 30 percent off i did that with my product and when i launched my product i literally got 10 jump send sales just from using jump send and also besides using my the group niche I curated besides using the blog post that I curated when I would uh, post my product within the group I would give people specific keywords so I would do best camping hammock I would find my post my post was like on page 16 as an example I would send everybody that link and I literally went from page 16 to page 1 within a couple days for that keyword specifically I'm still running my I'm not saying don't do your automatic campaign with PPC that works works wonders it's gonna work good for you but the most important thing is once that campaigns done you wanna optimize and improve and bid on the keywords that are gonna win for you so those are just a few techniques I wanted to share with my subscribers use influencer don't be scared to reach out to DM people on Instagram and Twitter look for people who are in your niche with a following go to YouTube message youtubers message youtubers who have family vlogs who would benefit from your item and doing a product review of course you're gonna spend some money but that video they put up there that video is there for the long run these posts that you get in touch with be specific tell them exactly what you want what details you want within it work with them because a lot of times these people are looking for a product to promote because they're in it to make money too and it'll work it'll be beneficial for both parties if you do that so I'll recap one more time get in touch with influencers don't be shy to look for blogs in in your niche don't be shy to use promotions within jump send it's pretty easy to set up a promotion for your item do 30 percent off for your item literally got me 10 sales just from doing that on day one I'm still getting sales from it and Secondly, I have some good news if you made it this far in the video. I ordered my second product via sea shipping. It'll take about 20 days to 25 days to manufacture. And I believe the shipping is maybe 
maybe 14 days or less. I'm going to double check with the shipping time. But what I did is I got in touch with a shipping agent and there's different freight forwarder companies you can go with out there. Just Google uh, sourcing companies, uh, Amazon sourcing companies, and you're, you'll easily find one. If you're having trouble, uh, feel free to shoot me a private message. I'll give you some more details about that. But I'm excited. I, I ordered my second product and I'm already looking for my third. If you follow me on Facebook or any of my social media sites, I say I'm the stay hungry, stay humble. I'm the hungriest of the hungry. You know, I, I'm doing this like I'm I'm all in on Amazon. I'm all in on affiliate marketing. Um, I have big plans coming up with affiliate marketing for my YouTube channel. I'm getting in touch with other YouTubers to do a collaboration in the making. So you'll see that in the next couple videos. Hopefully I can get with them in the next week or two and get a good video out giving some value to my subscribers and their subscribers and I think that'd be a, a good duo but yeah big things happening first product selling second products on the way and I'm contacting already for my third product I have my quotes I'm talk working with my agent on it and we're getting it together and so hopefully what I want to do is ship my third item with my second item because my second item it's cost two thousand and four hundred for the shipping but if I ship that second item with my third item, I'm going to save tremendously on cost. Of course, air shipping is faster. Sometimes it can be cheaper. Sometimes it's a lot more expensive. For what I'm ordering for my second product, it'll be a lot more expensive. But if I could add that third product in to my second order for maybe a couple hundred bucks, that would be worth it. And that's what I'm working on right now. But besides that, I'll keep you guys updated on the journey. If you have any video suggestions you want me to do, if you like this style of video, let me know. Always feel free to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. I appreciate all the support. I'm always here to help out. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.